Hello, my fellow Phoenicians. It's me, Jacob Norman, here with Phoenix Salon Education. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be watching a medium length haircut. As you can see, the model has slightly longer hair, so we will be taking off some of this hair length. How we are starting today is we are going to be parting the hair from the tip of the nose to the nape of the neck and from the top of the crown to behind the ear, separating the front from the back. Now you'll notice that today I am starting with part of the haircut wet. I do this because I know that I have to go back and refine the haircut later. I know that no matter when I cut the hair wet, no matter how precise, no matter how perfect, no matter how big or how little the sections are, I know I'm going to have to go back and refine this haircut anyway. So right now, I'm just going to knock off some of this length, knowing that I'll go back and I'll refine when it is dry and straight. Now as you see, I have her look down. This model unfortunately liked to talk, so her head kind of went up. Again, this is another reason that the wet haircut is only an estimate. Knowing that I will go back and I will cut it again when it is dry, straight. And I'm just going to work my way up the head, just taking off that length. I'm not really going to do many layers. I'm not really going to try to create a shape in here when it's wet. Because her hair is so fine and thin, I really can't see what's going on all of the hairs clumping together. I really just want to get that length off, get it about where I want it, knowing of course that I will go back and refine it when it is dry and straight. Knowing it doesn't have to be perfect now because I can make it perfect later. I'm just pulling the front all the way back, preserving some of that length up front because I'd rather have it and not want it instead of want it and not have it. So here she is dry. Like I said, I had the outline. I had a guesstimate of where I wanted the hair. As you can see, I didn't do a terrible job. It's not perfect yet, but it's not terrible. So now that the most of that length is off and the hair is dry and straight, I'm going to again separate the back from the front. And with this hair, because it's a little bit finer, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. Today we are going to be doing all of these layers and all of this movement with my thinning shoe. So that's my thinning shear and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to kind of show you how I'm cutting it. So I'm cutting in diagonals and I'm crossing over so you can see that it's a crisscross pattern on the hair strand. And again, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Diagonal, diagonal, and then cross over. As you notice, it kind of creates a hashtag in the hair with the thinning shears. Now the reason I do this is to create movement at the bottom. I don't really want to give her traditional layers. I just kind of want to soften up her hair strand. And again, I will do the same thing on the next section up. So again, take a horizontal section, diagonal, again, these are thinning shears, diagonal, and then across, across. And I'm just working in horizontal sections and I'm really working at the ends of the hair just to kind of add movement through the ends. As you can see, it's already sitting a little bit nicer. It's sitting a little bit flatter. So now that we've made it to the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take giant triangular sections right through the top. And again, working with my texturizing or thinning shears, I'm going to open and close the shear and work up the hair string. So what this does is it kind of pushes the weight up while taking some of the length off of the very long parts of the top of the head. Again, another giant triangular section. The reason that I'm taking a giant triangular section is to get a lot of that previous cut hair in with non-cut hair and working my way up the hair strand make sure that that length up top is still long but collapsing over the rest of the
And again, this is all done with my texturizing shears, all really soft. And right here, you see it's a giant triangular section. You can see here's the diagram of my section, again, working up the hair strand. I'm gonna go back, double check. Now I'm using my regular shears. If anything seems really fine or really long, I'm just gonna make sure that that gets cut. And now we're working to the front. So I'm gonna pull everything forward and I'm going to connect the back to the front like I did in my long layered haircut. So I'm gonna pull it up and I'm just going to open and close my shears gently, working my way forward. Now I do this to connect the back to the front, but making sure that I don't take the length off of the front. And I'm pulling everything to that last section to cause over direction and create a really nice soft layer in the front of the hair. And right here, I will show you the diagram of what that hair kind of looks like. Short to long from the crown to the front hairline. And again, pulling everything back to that first section. And after that, we're going to refine that length. I have all of my clients stand up when I refine the length. The reason is we've all been told, make sure that your client isn't crossing her legs. Make sure that the client is sitting up straight. Well, I don't trust the client, so I have them stand up. Because in my opinion, you get more compliments when you're standing up than you do when you're sitting down. And now that we're moving on to the front, I have her look over to one side and chin up to reveal that corner. And I connect the back to the front in this way. And look over the other way, chin up to reveal the corner. Make sure that I'm just cutting what needs to be cut and not cutting what doesn't need to be cut. And I'm just refining that length. Okay, now I want to show you the befores and after. Before, after. Before, and after. As you can see, really light layers, a lot of length taken off, and just a new shape for her. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, what I want from you guys this week is, I don't know if you've heard my uh, previous videos, but I'm starting a podcast. And what I'd like from you is to leave me a comment below telling me who your favorite hairstylist is. And if you could ask them one question, what would it be? Also, comment below anything you learned, anything new, anything old. Uh, tell me how to get better, because you know, as an educator, I'm always looking and always striving to be the best that I can be. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week.